What's up guys, it's Better Anthony Spano. We're jumping into this video right here real quick. Um, so the Baja is under some maintenance. You know, it looks fine, but then you see the back tire and the axle is completely torn out. I fucked up my axle, so I can't ride this bike for a while. So for this video, I had to do it anyways. We're gonna throw this carburetor on her and we're gonna take this governor out. And you guys are gonna get to learn how to do it because I'm an amazing YouTuber-ish. But yeah, you're gonna learn how to like take it apart and put a, the Makuni carburetor on it that I got. It's not Makuni, it's PWK. I don't know why I keep saying Makuni. This is that carburetor right here, but we have to take the governor out of this engine if I want this to work like 100% properly. So we're gonna, I already threw the chain off because the axle was broken, obviously. So I'm gonna take this engine off, get it all propped up and ready. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to take a governor out of an engine. Got the engine all propped up. We're gonna take this clutch off. I just totally lost my washer doing that. Look guys, my, my clutch gave me a new tattoo. I'm gonna take this pipe off here as well, just to give me more room. Don't buy Ryobi tools. You're gonna wanna take this air box off now. See, I'm being careful with it now. All right, so this is where it's gonna start getting pretty confusing. I'm getting ready to drain this oil, but I'm gonna set everything up on this table so I can show you guys everything that we've done. So we took all this stuff off so far. And um, yeah, we're gonna drain this oil and then we'll get into like the confusing stuff. Draining this oil directly into my uh, my oil pan. I'm gonna take this side cover off. Take this off carefully so I don't break this gasket. Ooh. Gasket's still on there. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. Well, that was one less thing I gotta do. This came out. I'll show you guys how this comes out though, real quick. It's just, it's something like this. You just kind of, kind of twist it a little bit and then it'll come out. There we go. Also, this is your cam gear. I'll explain a little bit more on how to put it back in too when it's done because you have to have the timing right. I'm gonna try and slip this off without breaking or ripping this gasket. I'm doing a great job so far. Hold up. Oh, this part's gonna be hard. Oh no. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and buy yourself a new gasket. It's not a big deal. It is annoying though. If your gasket rips like mine, I'm gonna show you what you gotta do to get the rest of that off here. You're gonna wanna take like a little razor blade and just carefully, carefully cut the rest of this off here. It's a pain, but you'll, you'll get it. But you have to do this or you're you know, you're gonna leak oil. All right, if you're putting a new carburetor on your engine, not a carburetor like this, but a, like a Makuni or a uh, PWK, like what I'm doing, you're gonna wanna do all this stuff. So I'm gonna unbypass the governor. And you're also gonna wanna take this whole throttle system off. So what, that's like a, probably an eight, maybe a 10. A 10. So I'll take this off. Take all these springs off, all that normal stuff. I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. It should look like this now, and now I'm also gonna take this carburetor off. I could have done it before, but I just waited like to show you guys what it looked like with the throttle on and stuff first. Got that carburetor off. I'm gonna slide this piece off too, because it's not gonna fit with this plastic piece right there. Just take this off as well, and it'll look like this. This is everything we just took off, the carburetor, the throttle, all this stuff, because they're throwing a whole new throttle and carburetor onto this engine, so I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna take this governor arm off. I think this is just a 10. Just pop this out and pull that out. So I actually couldn't get this out, but that's whatever. I'll just force it out in a couple hours. So I took this whole side cover off. I don't know why I didn't record that. I'm gonna wanna take this flywheel off. That was the easiest. What? How did it? But to actually get this flywheel off, you gotta, I mean, this is how everyone on YouTube does it. So I'm gonna show you guys the same way. So you're gonna make this flush right here. It's not flush yet. Flush so you're not damaging the, um, the actual inside of that. Move this aside, then you're gonna wanna get a pry bar and a hammer, and I'll try to get a better angle and show you what I'm doing. So, um, wanna get your pry bar, and you wanna get your hammer. I like one of these hammers. I don't know, they're fun. You wanna kinda put this, I always put it like right here or try to get it, and, uh, I don't know, somewhere in there good, and then you wanna just kinda bang this, bang this off. We'll give in the back of that a little bit of pressure. 
and you'll feel this pop, so the flywheel will come off. Oh, this is a pain. Maybe I'll kind of... Sorry, you guys can barely see that. You put it like, like right here, and then just bang that like normal. It took like a very long time, but we got it. All right, so flip this engine around, and we're gonna take out this uh, oil sensor now. I mean, you can leave it in if you want, but I hate it. Grab you some snippy snippies and a, and a number eight, and that's it. Okay. Down with your snippy snippies. Just go kind of right up, all the way up to the top if you can. Cut it off. And no more oil sensor. You can see the governor is somehow active right now. See it spinning back there? Not for long when I tear it out. Now we, we do actually have to take this governor arm out because it's, you know, attached to this. So I'm gonna just, mine's like being a pain. So I'm just gonna snap it until it breaks all the way off. Actually, I lied. I just rotated it this way and kind of kept spinning it, and it just came up and came off into the oil bin. Now I'm going to take this spark plug out because it's going to make it easier to turn this with no compression. Oh. All right, now I'm just going to kind of move it till I can like fully see this governor. So like right there kind of works great. I'm going to grab one of these tools and then kind of force this governor out, governor arm out and rotate it until it falls. And then there's a little washer right here that you need to grab after, right under here. It might fall down with this. If you see it, then you're good. But if you don't see it, you're gonna have to scrape that off because it will, see, mine just fell right there. It will literally demolish your engine. So make sure you do that. Okay, I'm lying by the way. You need to take this bolt and this bolt off first. I don't know why I thought I could do that without doing that, but no, it's like impossible. After a few games of bloody knuckles with my desk trying to get these bolts off, I, I got them both out. So this should just, this piece should kind of slide out. I might have to hit it with something. Yep. Here's that right there. Okay, so this was such a pain to get out. I ended up, I just rotated this piece until the piston went more into the chamber and then it just came out easily. But that was like, that was a big pain. Also make sure you, you don't lose this washer. Key, key, not washer. Now push this governor arm down. I might do that with, yeah, I can do that with my finger. Grab some pliers again, get this washer, and just pull this arm right out. Also trash, because I'm gonna use a tapper screw right here instead of anything else, so I'm just gonna throw that away. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna use just both of these for both the holes I need to patch up. And you always wanna clean the inside. I'll show you when I do it. This is the fun part. Grab yourself a hammer. Oh, the bucket's gone. I found the bucket, don't worry. And a punch. You're gonna wanna punch this out right there. Just bang it kinda as hard as you can. Got my punch right there. I don't know how many tries this is gonna take me, so I might speed this up. Okay, it's moving already. Dude, that was like three tries. This usually takes me like 40 minutes. You always wanna double check for washers, and I'm happy I did, cause look, there's a one right there and it's like stuck with the oil it's kind of being a pain but you know i'll get it out oh my gosh or i won't there we go governor straight into the trash now i'm gonna tap this hole right there i'll get something to tighten that in then i have to tap the one back there as well there's a lot of other options to do this but this is just it's so easy and it takes like five seconds and i'm just gonna wipe the shavings out anyway so i don't think it's too big of a deal there she goes i'm gonna do this until it gets tight all the way in there and then wipe those shavings same with this side as well so you can take this gear off but i don't ever do it because it's not going to do anything after you got both these screws tapped in so there's no more holes you can pop this back in here and i'm gonna throw the uh where did i put it this piece throw this piece back on there like this where the point is down and you want to tighten this like as much as possible because just as a reminder it's the only thing stopping your piston from shooting out of the engine i think i have to redo the valve blast on this thing because i dropped these out on accident so i'm going to take this off
I'm not sure if I can get away with just evening this out and just putting it all back together like normal. I might be able to do that, so I'm gonna try it. But um, yeah, I might actually have to fix these valves in a little bit. So we're getting ready to throw this cam in here and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it one-handed, but so what you're gonna wanna do is line up this dot with that dot right there. So if it doesn't line up, then it doesn't work. So you have to keep messing around, taking it in or take like taking it out and kind of fitting it back in there to try to get it perfect. Cause if you don't, your engine will not run right. Yeah, definitely couldn't have done that one handed, but you can see both the dots match up and that means you have like, you're all good. You set it up right. Dude, look at this. This looks pretty cool. It's like sealed on there and stuff. This is a neat way of packaging. Usually it's just in like paper. Oh, so these are all like heat metal gaskets, I guess. So I hope it doesn't, hope it doesn't shoot, shoot engine oil out. The gasket was actually kind of a pain to get on there, but you're gonna wanna tighten it like this. Star pattern it. There we go. Then just tighten the rest of them like that. Now we're gonna throw this flywheel right back on here. Line this up with that key. Put this back on here. I think it goes like that. Yep. Then you got this piece. You wanna make sure this circle goes in that hole right there. So easy enough. And then I'm gonna torque that down there. Let's torque this down there. wobbly or nothing so we're good now i'm going to throw this case back on here and make sure if yours has one of these you just got to ground it to the nearest wire because it's just it gives this power so it'll turn on and off it just it's easy to ground it i just mean literally just put the screw in with this there so just like this this will go in between uh the bolt and the engine bay thing not the bay the block throw the spark plug back in here and connect it throw this clear valve cover back on here Oh no, I might have to get a new one now. Oh, that sucks. But I'm gonna vice grip these out of here and then I gotta charge my phone, my phone's at 2%. I got these studs out, now we're gonna throw this carburetor on here. So I got it all propped and set up. So this is gonna be our fitting piece and the gasket. So gasket goes first, fitting piece, both these bolts. Then this carburetor and we'll tighten this down. And then this air filter, we'll tighten this down. And then I'm gonna put this spark plug in. This new one, it's like a, it looks neat. I'll show you guys it when we like get it there. All right, we're gonna throw the stud on here. Or whatever you wanna call it. I don't really know what I wanna call it, but throw this on here real quick. I'll speed this up. I'm gonna get this piece on there and get it all tightened up. Now we'll get this air filter. Last but not least, this spark plug, brand new one. We got this carburetor on here. We're gonna throw this muffler back on here. Hey, right, we actually did this. We got everything out of here. We got the Makuni carburetor on here. No more governor, no more old throttle. And uh, next video, we're just gonna have to throw this on the bike, tune this engine, and uh, obviously connect these gas lines in this filter, maybe play around with some jets. But yeah, dude, we got it done. That's how you remove a governor on a Predator 212. Also, uh, one more thing I wanted to say, if you're pulling this and it does not feel right, or like you're pulling it and it stops halfway and it hurts your arm really bad, you messed up your valve lash. I can't believe I didn't do it. I, it definitely should have. But valve lash, just look it up, valve lash, how to reset a valve lash for a 212cc. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You take this off and you can get like a credit card or anything that is the right size and put it in between there and then tighten both of those again. You'll see a way better video on it if you like actually look it up. But yeah, that's how you do it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good one. So we just hit 630 subs. I finally have my glasses back. There's sweat on my nose. 629 subs is at what I'm at right now. And uh, I'm going to post this video. It should be out in like two, three days. I'm really happy I got this video. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to. I had so much going on. But um, I'm happy you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm very excited to throw this no governor straight pipe Makuni, not Makuni, PWK carburetor, P PWK 24 carburetor on here. I'm so used to Makuni. I got to get got to get over it because these are better carburetors. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good one. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to tune this because I'm terrible at tuning carburetors, but I mean it looks cool at least. Bye, have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Again, thank you for 629.